Before I begin with the tutorial, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you're unfamiliar with Skillshare, Skillshare is a great place to learn your craft online with an online learning community so you can network with peers and discover new opportunities. The best part about Skillshare is that you can take as many classes as you want in tons of different categories without paying for each one. Skillshare has many categories to choose from like film, fashion, design, and photography to name a few. A favorite class that I found helpful is the Final Cut Pro 10 Color Correction for Beginners by Benjamin Halsall, who also has dozens of other classes. You should also check out one of Skillshare's top film and video class all about creating a modern cinematic documentary with Danden Liu, a documentary filmmaker and cinematographer. Get a two-month free trial by visiting the link down in the description of this video. Now let's begin with the tutorial. What's going on everybody? It's King Tuts Pro. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. <music> So the first effect is going to be the uh, RGB edges effect from Migos, or quality control. All of the music videos will be linked down in the description for you guys to watch, but this is the one that I created, which looks really close to the music video and it looks so cool. All right, so the first effect that you wanna apply is the blur. So go into the effects. You wanna go into the blur right over here and it's going to be the prism blur. It's really gonna blur it a little bit, but it's really adding a RGB effect to the video. So just drag that directly on top of your footage. And once you've done this, you wanna go into the amount. You can increase or decrease this. I'm going to increase it a little bit and I'm gonna change the degrees to 90 degrees like so. And then what I wanna do from here is I wanna go into uh, the, I believe it's called radial. If you can't find it, just go in all video and audio and type in radial, there it is. And I wanna drag that there. And what this does, it pretty much creates like a radial blur. And then once we have applied this, we're gonna go into, uh, we're gonna make a copy. So we're gonna hold down Alter Option. I'm gonna click and drag upwards to make a copy of our video. Then we're gonna go onto the video, make sure the top one's selected. And then you're gonna delete the effects that you've applied. You wanna go onto all video and audio and you wanna look for this other effect. It's going to be just the vignette. Uh, mask so drag that directly on top of this clip here and this will pretty much give you that blurred edge but keep everything in the middle like not fully blurred if that makes sense so as you can see we're gonna move this around here and we're gonna drag the fall off here if I drag this piece and then I'm gonna select everything I'm gonna right click and go to new compounds clip I'm gonna name this video and so far this is what we got going on but we're gonna do one last effect and that's gonna go into the um, I believe it's called in the distort. So we're gonna go into distortion and we're gonna go into fisheye and drag that there. And right now it looks a little bit funny, but we're gonna drag the amount like so a little bit to around negative two to three. And then we're gonna increase the radius uh, like so. Let me see if I can do this correctly. We're gonna move it to the left here. It might crop it a little bit, but that's just to get rid of the black bars around it. And now if we push play, you're gonna have this kind of blurred edge going on around and it looks really really cool and like I said this is without using any plugins at all moving on to the next effect all right guys so the next effect is going to be the cloning slash repetition effect and it's really really cool and this is how to do it okay so first of all I'm going to show you the effect that I've done so I want to push play and you're going to see that you're going to see that it just goes back into like a freeze frame and it's so, so cool. And of course you could add more, like you can add repetitions to this if you want. I will also link a separate video in the description, which I show you a little bit more in depth with this effect because it can be confusing. Anyways, let me show you how to do it. You wanna make a copy of this. So hold down Alter Option and just drag this upward. And then what you wanna do from here is I'm gonna go into the effects, go down to, I believe it's in masks, go to draw mask and drag this there. Now, before you drag the draw mask, let's say I want the freeze frame to happen right there. Yeah, like right there. I'm gonna go into edit. I'm gonna go into add freeze frame. Okay, so now we have a still image. This this little um, clip here is a still image and then it just goes back into this here. You don't wanna change the uh, duration of this clip. Like you don't wanna do this or you don't wanna do that because that messes up the timing of everything. So just only adjust this right here. So I want it to be, I don't know, a couple of frames long, maybe that long. Whoops, don't wanna change that one around there and then select the clip and all we're gonna do is just mask it out. So we're gonna go into the effects, we're gonna go to masks and then drag the draw mask onto the, onto the freeze frame. Now, once you've done that, you want to make your selection. So just 
make a you know rough selection here and there. Sweet, so now we've masked this out. And then you wanna go into the feather and you can feather this outwards or inwards. I'm gonna feather this outwards a little bit to around maybe three, so it's a little bit soft on the edges. In order for it to go back into place, all you're gonna do is click and drag this clip right above this one, and then just find a place where you want this to start. So maybe around there it would look fine. Moving on to the next one. All right, guys, so the next effect is going to be a Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber, I don't care, music video kind of vibe. And that's going to be the green screen background replacement effect, I guess. And it's so, so easy to do. And this is the effect that I've done. And it looks really, really cool. So to do this, of course, you want your video filmed on a tripod. It just makes things a lot easier, okay? So what you want to do is you want to select the video. You want to go into the um, this here that I found on YouTube. It's just like an aesthetic background animation. You can just uh, look up on YouTube like aesthetic background and uh, and and make sure you put in animation and you'll have um, a couple of stuff like this. And of course, shout out to the creator down in the description. So I'm going to select where I want this to start. I'm just gonna drag this above and I'm gonna select this piece here, which is like a sky. Uh, what we wanna do from here is we wanna press V on the keyboard to hide this, uh, the actual animation. And we wanna work on this video here. So what we wanna do is now we wanna go into the effects go into draw mask and drag that directly onto that clip there then what you want to do is just mask out the background the sky it really doesn't matter but i just need a bit of sky this is in the sky but it's close enough okay so i'm going to drag this um i'm going to click and just make selections i mean they're pretty rough selections it doesn't have to be exactly perfect uh, but then you want to um, you know zoom out so you can see the whole video and then make sure since this is like in between, I'm going to mask around it. So I'm gonna click here and then start back where it would, which is like around here. And then it kind of goes off and it continues like so. And then I'm gonna go around again like this. So now we've kind of uh, hidden everything. So everything in black is what is invisible. What well, we're gonna invert the mask. So now everything that's black is invisible. And of course, everything that we see is visible. So we're gonna adjust some of these frames here or these points and then all we got to do now the magic of a button is just press v and then we're going to drag this down and you're done it's that easy so now if i push play it's going to look like this and it looks kind of playful a little bit fun if you want to you know make it a little bit softer on the edges select the video here which is the top one that we've applied the mask and then you want to go into feather and decrease this or increase it depending on how you want it to look I'm going to increase this to the right a little bit to around five, just so it's a little softer on the edges. Moving on to the next one. All right, guys, so this next effect you guys are really gonna like, and that is the ASAP Rocky. Guys, I'm gonna get this right this this time. It's ASAP Rocky's music video, Kids Turn Out Fine. Link is gonna be in the description if you guys wanna watch the music video. But anyways, the effect pretty much compiles a bunch of videos with masks, and it kinda just goes on to like different scenes. But anyways, I'm gonna push play on the effect that I've done with using a couple of clips that they have um, used in the video. Um, and I just kind of masked it out myself here, as you can see, and that pretty much is what you wanna do with this effect. So what you wanna do is you want to first just drag this below and call it good, okay? So what we wanna do is wanna go into the effects. You wanna go into the masks. We're just gonna drag this directly onto this clip here. And I want it to start, I want it to start around here, right before we see the edge of that wall. So I'm gonna press B on the keyboard and I'm gonna press on here to split that clip and then I'm gonna drag this all the way over here okay so this is where it's gonna start and I'm going to select this beginning clip I'm gonna disable the draw mask because we don't want it on that one we only want it on this one and then we're good to go now what we want to do is we're going to zoom out a little bit we're gonna go around 50% and we're gonna go into the mask and we're going to I'm gonna go a little bit forward a couple of frames to see where this actually starts so I'm gonna click here and there and you're pretty much good there and i'm gonna go like so all right now right now we're going to invert this mask because we want the video to be able to see first you want to be able to see the video first and then we want to see the next video coming in so where we want it to have the invert mask checked now since this is a pretty straightforward mask and then we're going to go into the transform so go into the draw mask go to the control points add a keyframe and then go into show in the transforms Click the position and the rotation as well as the scale, just in case you were to ever change anything. You have all of them, uh, all of these four checked. Now, all you're going to do is press the right arrow keys and then start moving this over a little bit. 
And then now we're gonna click each individual point to make sure that this is going how I like it, and it is. So I'm gonna click forward, and I'm gonna click this mask, you know, anywhere here to move, move it like this. And then press the right arrow key again, and this should start to pretty much track the wall. So if I go back a couple of frames, you're gonna see what this looks like. And I'm gonna do that again, right on the arrow key. And I'm gonna drag this outwards like so. And that's all you're doing, guys. You're just moving these points wherever the mask is taking place. All right, guys, so once you are finished, this is what it's going to look like. I'm gonna push play, and you're gonna see that it's really seamless. And to make it a little bit more seamless around the edges, you wanna go into the draw mask, go into feather, and just decrease this to around negative six, or you can go the opposite way, depending on which way you want it to feather. And then now if I push play, you're gonna see how the mask looks like when I have it applied. You're just following the edge of that wall all the way and you want to make sure that all of these points are out of the frame you don't want any you don't you don't want something like this because this is going to show just make sure that all these points are outside of this video frame except for this piece here so you're going to see what this looks like and then once you're finished all the way to this very corner and then the next video continues all right moving on to the next effect <music> This effect is gonna be just on how to change colors simultaneously and quick. All you're gonna do is just go into the colors over here. Then you wanna go down to where it says no corrections, click the down arrow and go into either color board, color wheels, or color curves. I personally go with color board just because I think it's easiest. Then what you wanna do is you wanna split the video to a portion that you only want to affect. I want it to only affect this piece here. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into the down arrow next to this keyframe. I'm gonna go down to masks and click on add color. Then you want to sample a color that you want to change. In this case, I want to change the red because there's a lot of red within the scene. So I'm going to click and drag. And you're going to see a little circle with a little eyedropper tool. Just click and drag until you have most of the red selected. And let's say we don't have all the red selected. Hold on shift to add to the selection. You're going to see a little plus icon next to the eyedropper tool. So we're going to select this piece here as well. And we're going to click and drag a little bit. And then we're also going to drag it around this guy's pants. So I'm going to click and drag. A little bit outwards now be careful not to select too much because if you do you're gonna select a couple you know a little bit of his uh, of his face or his tongue now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into let's say I wanted to start changing here okay what I want to do is I want to go into um, just add a keyframe click and drag all of these values if you drag it above that's pretty much the luminance it's how bright the color is going to be so if I change the master I can change pretty much any color I want so I'm gonna start from, from the very red, I'm gonna go one frame over, click and drag this over here like that. And then I'm gonna change it to maybe yellow. And then I wanna go a couple of frames over and I wanna change it to maybe purple. So now if I go back and I push play, you're gonna see that it looks just like that to get it exactly how you want it. So if you bring this down, it's gonna lower the luminance. So it's gonna make, the, it's gonna make it a little bit darker. Go back and I push play. That's going to look like this. So if you guys found this video tutorial helpful, please leave a like, guys. That would be awesome. That shows that you guys want to see more videos like this on my channel. Comment down below what other videos you guys want me to make. If not, then just subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you guys don't miss out on a video like this. And also be sure to go down in the description and check out Skillshare. Uh, so thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video.